So this is a quick update video. It's about 8 o'clock my time. Bees are all inside. But kind of an interesting observation I've been making, and especially since that piece of comb fell out, I've been noticing, been trying to figure out what they're doing under there, and obviously they're building some comb. But it dawned on me, when you look at the size of that ball of bees, that is a whole lot bigger than what it was originally. And you know, it is not because I have more bees. The queen's brand new, it takes some time for the brood to hatch. So something to watch for in a situation like this is when that ball of bees starts growing, you know it's because they're filling up the space on the inside. There's a lot of comb in there. You think for them to expand that much? When they were first there, it was a maybe the size of half of a cantaloupe, something like that. But now, quite literally, that that ball of bees right now is the size of like half of a watermelon, half of a big watermelon. So it just goes to show they're they are going to work in there. There's got to be a decent amount of comb in there to take up that much extra volume. If you look there at that joint, you can see how they've glued those together. That's the one where the queen was. I didn't quite get that lined back up, and it's a little late now. I don't want to mess with them. If you look there, you can see how they've glued the joints together. They're sealing it off. Yeah, I'll pause this, and then we'll open up the top bar and see how big the ball of bees is there. So there's the top bar and I just noticed right there that's the first sign of honeycomb emerging from outside of the ball of bees. Let me zoom back get over here to where you can kind of see in. Look how massive that has expanded. That is just crazy. Much bigger they are now than they were. Can okay, I see that little yellow spot right there in the middle? Is the edge of the comb. <laughs> that was just neat to see. I don't know if you can pick it up on the video, but there's an outside shell of bees that have all their bodies linked together and they're surrounding let me see if I can get the light right so you got your outside shell of bees and then inside oops. Get it back. Inside you have little tunnels, little channels. You can see the inside worker bees going through. That is fascinating. You normally don't get to see stuff like that. Anyways, we'll keep you updated.